Oh, and on the screen, Nadia Kromanich at the Olympic Games in Montreal. You, you can almost feel the tension in the crowd here. Another sensational routine from Nadia Kromanich. Well, that was sad. Come on, Internet. This is my, my moment. I'm feeling it right now. Don't ruin this. <laughs> Guys, welcome to Sophia Lane Gymnastics. If you're new here, Welcome! So happy to have you here. Today is a very special day. If you are a returning flame, good to see you back. I hope your fire is ignited within you today. As mine is, I'm wearing my fire Leo. Link in description. Because I'm really feeling it today, this video is so special to me. Thank you to whoever commented, I think it was below my TikTok, to try the Comanich Salto. Why have I never done this? Oh my gosh. Today's video is so close to my heart because Nadia was my, and is still, <laughs> like my guru, like my biggest inspiration growing up. As a gymnast, I'm sure like many, after reading her book, Letters to a Young Gymnast, her book really taught me how much hard work you must put in if you want to be a champion someday. You know, like she talked about the hours and hours that she put in and she wouldn't complain. She would go put in the work because that was what was needed. You know, you cannot expect some grandiose result from putting in only 50% of what you've got. She had this deep like craving for hard work that I love and I resonate with so much and especially as a kid, like it just inspired me and showed me just like the beauty and um, the passion for having passion, if that makes sense. Fire, I call it. Because <laughs> that's really the best way I describe it. Like I said, like that craving for hard work and giving it her all and being tough when she had to be tough. I love that. It taught me what kind of mindset I needed to have in order to achieve my own goals. Nadia, if you come across this video, thank you for being you. Thank you for sharing so much of your mindset through your book and through your movie. You've inspired millions of gymnasts and athletes around the world. So, moment of appreciation for the famed, the historical, the iconic Nadia. Nadia Komarechi! I'd have that sentimental moment with you guys. Today, I'm going to channel you, Nadia. If you're still watching, I'm going to channel you because today, I'm going to try your salto that's in the code. She has like many skills that are in the code. One is like a kip. I'm gonna try that to put on TikTok too today, I think. Um, it's like a kip with a full turn. Um, but the focus is the salto. Now, I posted an Instagram story yesterday letting you guys know that I was going to be learning this today. Uh, I've never tried it before and I asked for your help and you guys, oh my gosh, you guys gave me some amazing advice that I didn't even think about. So today I have a few ideas in mind on how to kind of like prep the technique I need to feel when I actually get on the bar to then try it. Am I crazy for like trying all this in one day? Probably. This guy watching me film myself right now. Love those moments. Be uncom- be comfortable in the uncomfortable. So huge thank you to you if you're watching this now and you're one of the people who um, gave me some feedback on Instagram stories yesterday. If throughout this video you guys catch something that I don't catch, see something that I could do better, please let me know in the comments. It's so fun to share our like gymnastics insights and knowledge and like I love just dissecting skills, especially like iconic ones like these and trying to learn them. It's just so fun to me and when we can share that and get into you know, dissecting it together. Like, how cool is that, you know? Okay, sorry, I'm like a little bit overly excited today. This is one of the moods, I call it the happy buddy mood that I get into. And I'm totally in like happy bunny mood right now because I'm gonna channel Nadia. Okay, let's go, I'm ready, bye. Okay, so I'm watching the Komenichi Salto on YouTube and it seems like she kind of 
gets her flip through her heel drive and her shoulder's pushing, which is something that one of you guys commented on Instagram. <laughs> Someone wrote, IDK, I practice sailing on my free time. LOL. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna try this drill that I learned for a Jaeger and Delchev actually. I actually did this for a Delchev drill. It kind of just like gets me into that action of like heel driving and flipping forwards. The part that I'm still trying to like visualize is how to create rotation by just like my front support and my cast. Like Nadia must have had some really amazing strength. I don't know, we're gonna try it and see what it feels like and see how hard it actually is. But um, I think that that is coming from her heels, even though she's not arching. It's like, a, that's why it's hard for me to understand. Comment below if you understand this better than I do. So if I remember it, it was like a belly drop, heel drive or something. It was like, well that wasn't it. kind of the movement. I think I want to try it from a floor bar. Okay, I literally don't know if this is the right drill or not, but this is just what my imagination is coming up with right now, guys. Okay, so I need to put my head under. Oh my God, I'm kind of scared. Okay, wait, I can do this, it's fine. I can do this, it's like a gainer kind of. Oh my God, I'm scared. Okay, I can do it. Do. I'm just gonna try it on the bar. I can't figure it out, I'm just gonna go for it. We're just gonna try from a cast because from the floor bar I have no like way to propel myself up. My only fear is like, what if I don't flip and just like dive head first into the pit? That might happen. That's why we're going in pit. I just let go, are you kidding me? This is way harder than I thought. <laughs> what did I get myself into? <sighs> Only way to figure out if I can do it is by trying, so let me grab my heel pads. I wanna see where her feet are before she lets go. Like how high they are before she actually Oh, she lets go right away. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Okay, so they're just past horizontal when she lets go. Oh, and she already straddles too. And she just pushes away. And I That's imagine it, it, I imagine it feeling like that a little bit, but I don't know how you get more rotation. Yeah, she's like not hard, straight, but then she just ducks, flips, ducks and pipes. I guess. You just go through something. <laughs> Let me try from just a cast though. For real? You're just so. gonna go for it? I think so. Dude. Celebrity shot. No way! You yeah, did okay. not! Just that part? You can do that part. Really? Yeah. That's not bad. I need to go up more. I need to stop pushing away. I need to push down. Okay. All right, now I feel like a baby. <laughs> just, just, now I feel like a wimp. <laughs> just start with that. Just, what if you just pushed off into a front flip? Yeah. Okay, cast. If Cody can do it, I can do it. Yeah, just cast, go. Just cast, flip. Cast, and then as I'm pushing off, I kind of just push and then tuck. And then duck. Yeah. Ah! See, I think you're doing it right. You're staying on top. That's why I'm scared to death. I think not pushing so. away. Because the first one, I was like, I screw it, I'm just going to flip. Yeah. I need to push that way. Ah! Why am I so scared? <laughs> I'm hanging on for dear life. You can't let go. Yeah, you just cast go. Okay, okay. Let's see, it's fine. Feel? I'll be fine. You know what it felt like? It felt like a front toss on p bucks. I've seen those. I've never done that. That's what it felt like. I just let go of flip. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah. You're in the pit, right? If anything, yeah. you can just like cast and just pull a roll in the pit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dive home. Yeah, it's fine. Higher and make it look pretty. You're right. 
Probably the ugliest thing I've ever done in my life. That's not it. That's not it. Okay. That was not bad. Come on. Oh, easy. Bro. Alright, that was way easier than I thought. I was totally making a mountain out of a molehill. You know that if I don't add a little bit of drama, my soul is not fulfilled. But now that we have it, I need to be faster. No idea where the bar is. Am I close? Am I very far? I'm gonna look it up on my phone. So this is how I literally teach myself skills. So last year, 2022, I competed an elite season in Italy. And I trained and prepped for these meets by myself because there are only a few spring floor gyms in Italy. There aren't a lot, like maybe 10 in the whole country. And the one that was close to my house had this coach who was like really good at making me feel like a piece of crap. Um, and just really good at like belittling me. Like she had that coaching technique that was like, I'm gonna make her feel like she's worthless so that I can have control and like possession of her. It's really creepy and weird. But um, I had already had an experience similar to that in my past and was like, no, I'm not going back there. I would rather train on my own than be in this situation. And I had already committed to season, so I, um, you know, made the commitment to myself to compete the whole way through for this team. And what I would do was just video myself constantly and rewatch my videos and compare it to better gymnasts than me online, videos online, and critique myself in that way. It took a little bit longer, but that's how I kind of self-coached. So that's kind of what we're doing today. Fortunately, I have my flames with me to help me with this. Comment below what I'm doing wrong, what I can do better. Okay, so I see that my feet, I let go when my feet are before horizontal, I start piking instead of letting them rise and then piking. So I'm gonna try to let them rise higher before piking this time. Hi, Steph. Wonderful, having the time of my life, learning new skills, playing. I saw it, I saw the bar. You guys think I could actually catch this today? Oh my gosh, that would be crazy, dude. Little higher, little higher. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I actually didn't think I was gonna like get this close today. Oh my goodness. My Nadia channeling is working, you guys. Okay, so now what I see is that <laughs> I'm so into this right now. Now what I see, you know how on a Jaeger, if you just get stuck there, you just get stuck, but you have to like finish the Shushinova motion to like almost bring you closer to the bar. Only gymnast viewers are probably gonna understand my gymnastics language right now. <coughs> I just had a mental block. Do you guys know that feeling when you're about to catch a release move and like when you get close to the bar, it feels like the bar is under you, like, and it kind of is, but like you get that feeling in your stomach, like the, the butterfly, like roller coaster feeling, but you have to get in, go into that feeling if you want to get close to the bar and catch it. Like you have to go into that. It's the hardest part. It's like the, the last and hardest step to catching a release is facing that, that feeling. The only way to conquer the fear is to trample it beneath your feet. <clears throat> Quote, Nadia Comaneci. I have it with both hands. Put both hands on it. But I have to go higher. It's scaring the crap out of me, but I have to go higher. So 
close! I have to get in! I just need to go harder now. Like, still with the same timing, but just give it more. If she watches this one video, or if she watches this video one day, I want her to know how much she inspired me. <laughs> how the young did this. You did this. Perfect. Literally crying. How did you do that Corbett flip thing? Nothing. Oh, like did I you see that? that? Yeah. How did I do it? I just yeah. woke up and I was like, I think I could do that. And so then I tried it. And then. You did it. Yeah, Tark helps me a lot. Oh, this one off the bar? Yeah. That's all over my Seems feet so now? Scary. No way! Oh my god, inside gymnastics and like <laughs> all these other gymnastics there, right? It's yeah. all over there. And I'm like, I know. It's like, I got to see this in person. This I know, way right? Than on the yeah. Yes! Because there's such a respect and like, you know? Oh yeah. All this stuff is nuts. It's nuts! <laughs> The hardest thing is not catching it once, but catching it again. I, I'd like to do one more, but point my feet, because my last one I was like, ah! and I said, Nadia would not do that. Let's point the toes. Yeah. Nadia? Nadia. This is Nadia's skill. She invented this skill. Nadia Komenich. She was the first gymnast in the history of gymnastics to get a perfect 10. And not only did she do it once, she did it seven times. Won two Olympics. Just have to say, I told myself I was gonna catch it before four o'clock because that's when classes start. Look what time it is. Well, you can't see it from here. It says four zero zero. It's probably a really zoomed in image of my face. Sorry, I just had to flex on that. All right, one more without flexing my feet. <laughs> my poetic genius wheels are spinning. Point of feet, point of feet to win the meet. And that is why we wear heel pads. But at least my feet were pointed, I think. Comment below. I guess I'll find out later when I edit this video. <laughs> I'm so shook. I can't believe that happened. I mean, I can, because I totally like set my mind to it, had the intention, and was like, we're gonna do this today. But it's crazy, you know, when you get a new skill, you're like, oh my God, I can't believe my body can do that. So, really exciting. Thank you guys so much for your support before on Instagram, during with all your comments, and now. Um, if there are any other skills you think that I should try learning, comment below. I am loving this format of video. Uh, share your thoughts with me on which of the formats you've liked best so far on my channel. I have sort of like a challenge format which is more like just fun, silly, and then I have this vlog, try new skills format. Um, so let me know what you like best so far. And uh, I'm just so excited. I can't believe, I cannot believe we are already at 25,000 flames on this channel. I, I feel so grateful and I am just so so overwhelmed with um, joy and gratitude and um, seriously uh, this it's really a dream come true so um, thank you guys for your support and um, XOXO we'll see you in the next video and may the fire be within you your fire within is a crazy thing never forget it and when you're facing fear make sure that you feel your fire more than the fear because that is what's gonna get you to the next level. That's what's gonna take you to trampling that fear beneath your feet. Nadia.
For me, that's the key, is having more love than fear. All right, guys, that's enough deep gymnastics philosophy today. Love y'all. See you in the next video. I never say y'all. What the heck? Okay, bye.